Well, hello there, and welcome to Meeting Expectations. I'm the old growler, Pete LaFrance, and here at Meeting Expectations, what we do, we take a look at a can or a bottle of beer, we crack it open, and we see if it meets expectations. For those of you returning, welcome back. And for those of you who are just meeting us, well, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. Now, what do we have this time? We have Dale's. This is Dale's Pale Ale. That's what we have. It's uh, in a 12 ounce can, 354 milliliters. I bought it at the local beer shop for $2.49, which is one pound 65. Now, let's see what it says about itself. That's what we're doing here. All right. Oscar Blues Brewery, American Pale Ale. 6.5% alcohol by volume. 12 fluid ounces, 355 milliliters. And what else? Brewed and canned by Oscar Blues Brewery in Longmont, Colorado, Brevard, North Carolina, and Austin, Texas. And it tells me that if I'm pregnant, I shouldn't drink this. So I, I won't. Okay. This is pretty straightforward. I, I have a feeling <clears throat> that about a year ago, I did a review of, of this of this very beer, and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to check and find out, and uh, it'll be a, there'll be a link right up there, a banner right up there, and you can see if the, if I agree with the, what I did last time. All right, well, an American Pale Ale, uh, Dales. I've I've been familiar with them before, so what am I expecting? I'm expecting a refreshing brown copper colored uh, ale with a nice head to it, uh, probably uh, smelling a little bit of. Uh, Possibly a uh, grapefruit and a, a little bit of uh, lemon on there possibly um, And the flavor I'm expecting it to be a rich ale uh, not too heavily bodied But uh, with a, um, a nice mouth feel to it and a pretty crisp finish So let's see if Dale's pale ale meets expectations Okay, glass. We always use this style of glass. That way, all of the beers are on an equal footing when it comes to perception of the aroma and the look to it. So thanks, Jerry Scott, for that. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Okay. That's a copper color, all right. It's looking good. Throws up quite a head. <coughs> Of course, that was kind of a hard pour. All right, now this is an American Pale Ale. American Pale Ales should probably be served at around cellar temperature, which is 50 degrees um, Fahrenheit. And we're gonna test and see if this beer is at the proper temperature. Here we go, and what is it? It is that's a little, it's 59 degrees Fahrenheit, so <clears throat> uh, I took it out of the refrigerator a little while ago, so 59, so it will we'll probably get a little bit more aromatics than you would if it was a very cold beer, and we're certainly going to get more flavor than if it was a cold beer. Okay, the head on that is just about right. As I say, the color there, it's a copper color. There's a nice, it looks, there's a nice effervescence that's going on there. You see it covers, it gives you lace on the glass. All right, so as far as the uh, appearance goes, I say it's uh, it's up there. It's right on. The first nose dive. I'm getting some malt on that, definitely. A roasted, a roasted malt, but then underneath that there is a leafy flavor, a leafy kind of aroma that's coming up. First swig. Mmm. This is what I call a five second beer. You need five seconds to appreciate everything that's happening.
the high notes are definitely the hops, but there is enough of a sweetness in here. <clears throat> the maltiness, you notice that and it stays. It stays in your mouth. There's a creamy maltiness. Um, and when I say malt, I mean a roasted grain type of, of, uh, of mouthfeel to it. It's very creamy. And the hops stay to the back of your palate. And then they finish off, again, kind of uh, meeting that sweetness of the, of the malt and kind of staying around. So the uh, finish is definitely a, a fine mix between the two, but the hops uh, definitely stay around for quite a while. Second swig. Yes, I would have to say that for all of that was on uh, the information we had, which wasn't terribly much, but from their reputation and what I knew about them, does Dale's Pale Ale from Oscar Blues Brewery meet expectations? It certainly does. I'm the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.